is the energy vibration and um, reading with the full moon of the month of January. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for the wonderful, wonderful like, shares and support. This is the month of January and it was the full moon readings for the Pisces, Cancer and Scorpion. Pisces, Cancer and Scorpion. So Emma, hello again and let's see what is coming up remember the fire sign is over there and the moon sign is here so let's see what's coming up for the sun sign for the water sign the scorpions comes up whatever the situation is we have Neptune that is here and the Pisces okay okay Alrighty, so you fire signs, um, scorpions are going to be um, um, if affected by the Neptune and the Pisces. Let's see what else is coming out for the moon. The Aries are here. Thank God they're here and not in the center for your water sign because Venus, the Taurus, and the Aries. Okay, so we're working with Neptune, the planet of Neptune. And Mercurius, okay. I told you guys, um, told you, um, water sign people that this year is going to be a change of guards. You can already see it in the energy vibration from this uh, astrology or or scope, astrology or scope, how you might see it. Um, the planetary alignments and what is going to be affecting you guys now. Mercurius coming up. This effect of Mercury that is coming up is um, very significant because it's going to be affecting not only um, the fire sign but it's also going to be affecting the moon sign. And depends on where these energies are in your birth chart or birth chart, you're going to be really affecting and, and receiving the energy of this. Okay, so um, what we're going to be um, transparent and looking at. Is that the sun sign people are dealing with Neptune now Neptune and the Sun what is that for you guys because um, it's bringing forth your secret dreams into the front light of day the poetry in your soul seeks expression okay so um you sun sign people who are dealing with Neptune this is going to really really affect the the, the Pisces and the scorpions especially this the Pisces because the Pisces it's going to be powerful for you Pisces because what is happening is that um, Neptune rules you Pisces you Pisces are being ruled by Neptune okay Neptune is the planet that rule you Pisces and what is happening and what is transpiring is about you Pisces is about to have a wake-up call okay you Pisces your soul is going to be aligning you to where you need to be and what you need to do now um, for you Pisces with Neptune it's going to be psychic it's going to be um, you Pisces are going to be I believe is your motto I believe that anything that you want to do your Pisces is going to be dreaming within the water something more interested in what cause um, you to some of you are going to be um, tuning into the addict uh, addictions that you have and wishful thinking to avoid harsh situations strong spirituality spices you're going to be turning back towards the world through faith and hope damn Okay, you Pisces. Um, I told you that this year was going to be the change of guards for you guys. Oh my, 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 you Pisces. Now you Scorpions are going to also be affected because you are, you are there. I'm not seeing the energy of the Cancers, but um, you guys are going to be so affected. Um, it's going to be unbelievable. Okay. Um. The moon with Neptune, or because the sun with Neptune, but the, the sun with Mercury is the sense of urgency. You feel as if your soul is calling you, listen and swiftly follow where it is leading you. 
damn, you want to sign people and hot shit going on there. Woo. Oh, my God, you want to sign people? Tell me, tell me, tell me what is going on. Okay, so you want to sign people are definitely going to be looking for your soulmates and twin flame. It is your soulmate and twin flame. You're going to be pushed to find your soulmate and twin flame. Okay, um, for the lunar people, because uh, Mercurius is the central that is affecting everyone, your dreams are filled with important message now. Give as much as attention to your sleeping life as your awakened life. So, uh, what a sign. Hold on, hold on, because life is about to shift for you guys. So, Sun sign people, um, the um, Scorpions and the Pisces, Neptune is here. It's going to be a shift. This um, full moon for you guys is going to be a whoa, a significant one. But for the moon people, Luna, the Luna, the Mercury is, um, and for the um, people who are connected with Cancers, a hey, get ready because something is about to happen. The energy of the bull. Um, some of you who are in relationship with the Taurus, as as if your um your your connection with the Taurus is going to go at an higher level. It's as if you guys are going to be connecting. Venus, a lot of Pisces are going to be going in search of their twin flame and soulmate. A lot of Pisces is going to be going in search of their twin flame and soulmate. So let's see what is coming up for. The sun sign people okay balance so there's going to be some legal situation gratitude is coming up for Neptune priors for the Pisces whatever the Pisces are in renewal is coming up guilt some of um, you who are in relationships are having guilt now expansion for you water sign people obviously that is what is transpiring a lot of expansion faith comes up for Venus because you Pisces are going to be praying to return to your soulmate or your twin flame um, this is going to be good okay you Pisces because you're you're in your own um, full moon energy vibration so a lot of expansion spiritual expansion for you water sign people okay let's see balance with the Scorpio Four of Cups, the angels are going to come in and help you. Have some gratitude, okay? Um, seeing the truth of a situation with the Aries, and um, you're dealing with, some of you are dealing with um, the air sign in love, okay? Oh, wow. Okay, so there's a lot of, um, it's, a, it's um, a full moon of spirituality of balance. So for some of you Scorpions, you scorpions that was born um, in the day so if you were born between the hours of 6 a.m. and um, um, 7 p 6 p.m. in the evening um, you are definitely a fire sign person so you scorpions are going to be dealing with some legalities but your spirit guides and angels are going to be coming in and helping you with the situation okay so Whatever you um um you scorpions are dealing with your spirit guides and angels are going to definitely coming in and helping you out with this situation. So here you are seeing this situation that is um transpiring, um where your spirit guides are basically going to be coming in. Um, obviously some of you scorpions are dealing with some legal legal legalities, and your spirit guides is going to be coming in and helping you out. So here you go. Now we're looking at Neptune. Now Neptune is going to affect all of you, Pisces, Cancers, and Scorpions. Neptune is going to awaken the psychic um, of who you are. Neptune is the planet where the Pisces rule the Neptune, and this year is the year of the Pisces. So you are going to be realizing that you water signs are going to be helped. The Pisces are going to be helping you water sign, so you are seeing this, and it's good to call upon the agents and guides and angels of collector of seal to come in and clear the images in your house and seal it off. 
call upon Archangel Gabriel, supervisor of Dawn, Element Master, Fire, Fire, Solomon, and the Fire Dragons to come in and also remove the low energies in your house, your car, your vehicle. And you can always ask Archangel Michael to see all windows and doors so that nothing. So you bring in the blue light, call upon um, Archangel Michael and Master Elmore to come in and help. Um, help you stand in your aura at all times because you you water sign people are going to be needing this now Neptune is here and with the energy of Neptune you have gratitude now it's gratitude um, uh, some of you uh, find gratitude instead of uh, um, you know lashing out at other people find gratitude whatever the situation is find gratitude instead of lashing out on other people because as you find gratitude what is going to be happening and transpiring is that you're going to be seeing and finding out the truth of the situation whatever the situation is whatever the transition is you're going to be finding out the truth of the situation okay now let's see what else is happening for you Pisces now you Pisces obviously you have to go in priors because of a situation now this could be a relationship some of you Pisces could have realized that you have made the biggest mistake of your life um, losing um, a twin flame of a soul flame um, you are in conflicts with yourself you Pisces or you could be in conflicts um, with you finding the love of your life and you know losing this person because of stupidity okay so you Pisces are going to be having to deal with that for the rest of the Pisces it's all about praying it's all about connecting it's all about understanding and finding back spirituality and balancing out the materialistic and the spiritual world okay so um, some of you Pisces are really going to be having some inner conflicts that you're dealing with as we look at the moon sign people the people who were born um, 6 p.m. in the evening until 5 a.m. in the morning you're dealing with the Aries now whoever these Aries are they're coming back because they're asking for a renewal um, um, in a relationship okay they're they're returning and they're asking are you for a renewal in a relationship don't do it um, it is a time for you guys to find your soulmate and your twin flame and you do not find as a water sign you do not find your soulmate and twin flame with the fire sign people you find them with um, the hurt sign people okay you have to understand fire and water is that one is going to be more powerful than the other one you have to find balance in relationship and this is why certain relationship and certain people don't work out you are going to be having an Aries coming back and offering an axe and don't do it because this person is using magic to get you and hold on to you so you have to release this Aries um, um, with the energy of praying to release this person okay um, if you begin this relationship again it's not going to be um, uh, good okay so we'll see what is happening for you guys in the relationship reading now but the Taurus says some of you are having some guilt guilt with the Taurus and um, some guilt over a project if some of you were in business with the Taurus there's a lot of guilt whether you were in business with them or you were in a relationship with them you have done something and you're feeling some guilt whatever the guilt is you have done something and you're feeling some guilt so you want to sign people whoever you are you have done something to the Tauruses and you're feeling some guilt now um, we're going to be checking out to find out what is this guilt and why is this guilt coming in from you Tauruses um, or for you water signs to a Taurus that you have done something towards now we have Venus and faith so some of you um, could be getting divorced okay some of you could be getting divorced because the king of swords comes up as legal legality so and there is some deception there's some quarrels and um, so 
um, in love there could be some divorce that is coming up okay and your angels and guides or some deceptive decision or behavior that is going up but your angels and guides are aware of the situation and it's going to be protecting you so you Pisces that is um, so you you water sign that is getting are going to legalities with um um a divorce um some deceptive things um and some quarrels and uh, things are going through but you're going to be getting through this and it's going to be ending in a very uh, uh, on a very positive note so that is good so for the extended of this reading for um the people who would like to see the extended of this reading because this reading is going to be um costing of 45 minutes whoever wants to see the extended of this reading you can connect um via on demand on um and uh, with the link below this video and it's going to be taking you right over to the on the mount um, um site okay so I'm saying namaste until next time. I will see you over the other side. Okay. So here we are. Um, welcome to all on the mount. All the people that is connecting on, on the mount. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Um, this is wonderful. Um, thank you for your support, your likes and shares. Um, this is going to be good so we are going to be checking out what is going on in the general reading for a personalized reading for a moon reading personalized reading um, for the moon reading you can always connect um, with me okay so um, that's how it's gonna be I'm back and back I'm here I'm trying to get my stuff together I am trying to get my stuff together because um, you guys are the last one. So, um, let's see what is coming up and what is um, transpired. What is coming up and what is transpiring for you and what is sign people. So, let's check out your um, general energy. Okay. Um, the nurturing, the universe.